So here I am at the Green National Park and we are going to run through the beautiful Gearbirding Lodge property here. Right next to the Bamba 4 gate or the gate number 2 through which the safari gypsies enter into the Gear National Park. This is the old gate to the premises of the property. The new gate is from the other side from where the vehicles come in. Now this gate is closed. So as you come in through the old gate, there's a vehicle ramp that goes through to drop off the guest. Welcome by the beautiful, uh, very natural and beautiful ficus religiosa or the uh, banyan tree right here at the entrance. And you can walk through the natural walkway into the reception area of the gear birding lodge right there as you cross the reception area to the left lies all the rooms there are about 20 rooms here it's a thickly foliaged property with lots and lots of variety of uh, flora around dominated by the mango orchard so those are the rooms and you can straight away walk through the rooms to the restaurant area of the ghee birding lodge so on either side there are rooms as we walk through the walkway it's a very serene place. This is an afternoon time when I'm shooting those uh, video for you. But in the morning and the evenings, there's a lot of cacophony, pleasing to the ears of the variety of birds. And Gil is known for its rich bird habitat. We come here to the restaurant. It's a beautiful, simple restaurant, nicely done, good ambience inside, nice hand-drawn birds on the wall. This is the restaurant area, very rustically done, and some beautiful handmade sketches and paintings of the birds of this area hung up on the wall. A very simple restaurant but a very attractive one. We move out of the restaurant area and walk towards the recreational area which doesn't have much impetus as uh, the Gear Birding Lodge is based on ecotourism and it gives a lot of importance to the responsible tourism aspect of ecotourism. This is the huge 22 acre mango orchard around. This is where there is a resident leopard and also a resident hyena, which often sometimes is uh, found around the reception area. So let us give a walk through the mango orchard and some nice sketchy places in the mango orchard. The famous Kesar mangoes of the Savras Peninsula. These are the mango trees of the Kesar mango variety of mangoes. Sometimes lions do creep into this place in the night time. This mango orchard. And leopards are often seen around. Towards the uh, a small area what we 
named as lantern the hut wherein you could yeah it's a eurasian thickening there it flies and settles and this is an area a small gazebo kind of hut made in the orchard where you can have your late evening or dark hour food dinner right there so that's the gear birding lodge for you i'll try and get the video of uh, the rooms and how the rooms look so there we go with the room at the gear birding lodge an ecotourism destination uh, let us see the room from inside it's a very simple and rustically done uh, resort not a resort but it's more of an ecotourism thing so this is a very typical room no television that's the best part of it view from either side and right in the middle of the forest the washrooms so it's a beautiful place to be do visit the gear birding lodge at gear <laughs>